Hey YouTube, so back today I wanted to talk to you about fashion. Because that is simply what it comes down to. Style. I am talking about that subject of sagging and bagging pants. It's fashion, people. It's no more or less fashion. It's style, it's taste. may not be your taste. may be good or bad taste to you. But at the end of the day, it's fashion. Someone's opinion of what looks good on them, what they like to wear. We have allowed other communities, because of our community, to stereotype our kids, our young black men, our black men, because of fashion. Yeah, I don't like it either. Sometimes I think it's not cute. Depends on how it's dressed up. Um, but do I think we should ostracize <laughs> a certain group uh, in our group because of fashion? No. And it's really not even that much more to say about it. It's, it's fashion. Nobody should be locked up for it. Nobody should be given a ticket because of it. You may see some boxers. The ass is still covered. It's fashion. I don't like it when I see some young ladies wearing the strap, the um, tops with the bra strap showing. I think that's tacky. I think it's actually nasty. Do I think they should be locked up for it, given a ticket? No. I don't like it when I go to church sometimes and I see women with three and four rows who I know, who I know they know they need a girdle. Do I think they should be locked up for it? Sometimes yes, but at the end of the day, no, because it's fashion. It's bad taste to me, but to them, that's what they like. So let's stop that. I really don't know where mm -hmm. the the um, fashion style came from. I remember Jesse Jackson, who I do have respect for, say it, it was jail wear. I actually remember when crisscross came out, how they were wearing the pants backwards and they were kind of baggy, and then it just became the baggy pants look. I the whole jail thing, whatever. At the end of the day, it's fashion. So. We cannot allow ourselves, to me, in my opinion, to stereotype our kids because of fashion. Sagging or baggy pants does not mean a thug, does not mean one is a murderer or rapist or they're going to do harm to you or they're going to end up dropping out of high school with no life. It's fashion. We really need to stop that because we have allowed other communities, we've allowed other people, we've allowed the police to put a target on our kids because of fashion. It's ridiculous. It's so damn ridiculous. I, it, it's just ridiculous. It's fashion. And I keep saying that because that's what it is. Every generation has had has worn a style that an older generation did not feel was appropriate, didn't like, wanted to ban it, whatever. But to get to the point where you want to stereotype our kids to the point that they can go to jail or you as the parent can go to jail or be given a ticket or pay, made to pay a fine because of fashion is so ridiculous. My thing is what are the kids doing in school? That's what I'm concerned about. I'm not concerned about they're covered. You know, they're where you may see a little bit of the boxer, but I mean, they're covered. It, it's just... I just think it's wrong. Let me tell you my experience with it. What hap experience with it? What happened to me? I was at Whole Foods in Midtown, and a group of kids were in the parking lot asking for donations. I don't know if they were really needed donations or if it was a scam. I'm not sure. So they all had on like the white tees and the baggy pants. So I pulled one of the kids aside. I said, "You know what? You really go much further <laughs> if you all were kind of uniformed." dress nicely appropriately you know I said that's kind of urban wear which is cool club wear and that's cool but if you're trying to get people to give you money then you've got to dress a different way um and he was like oh okay thank you you know I'll let them know what you said blah blah so when we headed on into the Whole Foods one of the guys who had approached them in the um park who they had approached in the parking lot was complaining to the manager white guy um he was saying how they were being harassed in the parking lot and I actually had seen his his exchange with the kids in the parking lot and that he wasn't harassed so me <laughs> I jump in the conversation yes it had nothing to do with me but what he was saying about our kids he was like oh they've got on those baggy pants and they've got their hair braided and all that kind of stuff you know some of the things that we say um he was trying to make our kids seem to me like they were thugs out there trying to gangbang somebody in the parking lot so I jumped in the conversation and I said, you are lying. 
that is not what is happening out there. Yes, they may have locks and they may be they may have their pants that are kind of baggy with white t-shirts, but the way you're describing them as criminals is not true. They asked you a question, you kept going, they left you alone. They were not harassing you as you're trying to make it seem. So he was like, I wasn't talking to you, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, I'm talking to you. See, because I'm not going to allow that if I'm around. I'm not going to allow people to stereotype our kids. I don't care what color you are. If it had been a black man saying that, of course the train wants to go by when I'm talking, right? If that had been a black man saying that, a black woman, whoever, white woman, I would have said the same thing because I just don't think it's fair. He actually had categorized them because of what they had on. What I've always tried to say black people, what I think is that because some of us say some of the most derogatory things about our own people, other people are able to pick that shit up and run with it because we said it first. So you have to watch what you say. Stop stereotyping your own people. Stop it. It's unnecessary. If they want to wear baggy pants, hey, if you're the mom and dad, tell them no and stick by it and don't allow them to wear mm -hmm. it. But if you come upon a group of kids that have that type of fashion on, remember, it's just fashion. You don't like it. It may be bad taste. But after the day, at the end of the day, it's fashion. And who's to say you're the best dressed? I see men who need to go ahead and shave their heads on off trying to hold on to the little bit of hair they got. That upsets me. They probably need to be put in jail or given a ticket. But you know what? No, not really. Because it just has to do with good or bad taste. It has to do with style. What you want to wear. It's fashion. It's attire. It's a hairstyle. Whatever. Stop stereotyping your own people, please. Please, please, please. If anything we've learned. Thanks for listening. All right, bye-bye.